Hey Eric, the Swiss Army Knife here to show you uh, the battery replacement for the Onan or Cummings um, 4500 peak watts uh, generator. And this is the old battery. Um, I spent, it's 6.5 ampere hours. You're gonna have a hard time fighting anything that comes close to that. And this is the hole that it comes out of. Uh, you only need to uh, pop the little lid that it comes with. It's just a plastic pop and um, it's really nice. It's made well. And this is a rubber piece that just holds the battery in place. Um, <clears throat> what I found was that I tried to find the phys physical size because it's a small hole and everything else was bigger. This was um, right around uh, five inches and this was 5.9. So this is just a little bit bigger than five inches. And this is 5.9. And then I started to measure all the measurements and then I went in the battery compartment and measured it also and realized that I could put a bigger battery in there. And so this battery um, works and it's $30 at the time on Amazon when uh, all the others were like 40, 50, 60 dollars. That's a nine ampere hour. This is a 6.5 ampere hour. Physical size is bigger, but everything else works and I just fit it in there and it works fine. So you don't need to undo these before you take it out of the battery. You just take the plug out. I didn't even know there was a plug in there. It's made really well. That's a service, service ability for uh, Cummings and my hat's off on that. I love this generator. Before you go and put this battery in and have to remove it twice, which I did, um, I'm gonna suggest you put a piece of painter's tape or anything like that on this rubber piece and then um, stick it to the top up there inside so it doesn't fall down when you stick the battery in. And then you can bring it and strap it down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I did to make this simpler. Um, I rotated the clip, if you can see, I'll bring this up here. I rotated the clip around so it's lengthwise, so it doesn't have so far to pull down. But, okay, so team, um, I found that this was too much stress on this um, rubber piece to hold it down and actually get down there because the thickness of this battery and everything's just a little bit bigger. So I basically put a zip tie through the hole and through the two holes down there at the bottom. And it has to be a very thin zip tie to do that. It's not going anywhere. And you're gonna do this, what, once a year, maybe? And I suggest you date your battery so you know how old it is.